What's up guys, your Doomsday here, and today we're going to be looking at a first rotation that I believe is very underrated in this patch. Also, credit to Apollo who is the coach for Hammers for finding this out pretty much. I don't know, he kind of just explained it to me, but pretty much what happens here is, it's a little bit weird, but it works very well. What happens is the top laner actually starts, which I'm the top laner right now, and I'm actually going to start at the Gold Oak. So what's gonna happen is I start at the Gold Oak, and then your mid laner just solo gets your CP buff right away, and then your captain, your bot laner, and your jungler actually go and invade the enemy red buff. This might seem a little bit weird, but it works out since I'm able to get Gold Oak, so even if they do counter invade, I already got Gold Oak. And also, we already have our own CP buff. And also this works fantastic with heroes that are really good at level 1 like Yates. So for example there, we just got a pull on somebody and almost killed him right away. So now we can pretty much get their jungle. Their entire jungle. We always And right now, we, you pretty much know that they're at their CP buff, but I already got the gold oak. And we already got our own CP buff. And then we got their jungle. That means that we got 3 of the jungles pretty much. But actually, they're trying to counter invade right here. So I'm actually going to have to back off here. But what can happen is our entire team can come and collapse on him. So for example, Celeste is rotating this way, and then Yates can come here too if they do try and counter invade. Since whenever teams counter invade, it's going to be a little bit slower, since most of the time people don't expect invades anymore. So over here, we should be able to win this trade, since now Yates is getting over here. Even though we died, we still win this. I'm going to be able to kill Kinetic here. And then, after this, after we get this kill, actually what's going to happen here is, I'm going to stay in bot lane, and our jungler and our bot laner are actually going to stay in top lane and just take the turret. Since they're already up there, since they actually invaded the jungle and they took it all. So since they're already up there, it would waste a lot of time to go ahead and just recall and then go back to base and switch lanes again. So what's going to happen is, they're just going to get top turret right here. They're just going to stay in top lane, and I'm just going to stay in bot for now. So over here, I just push and wave, and we already got top turret. Just because the red buff, and we have a scarf in sky, which could take a turret really fast. And now we're actually going to lane swap. First up, I want you guys to look at the gold lead that we have right now. It's two minutes into the game. And we're already up almost 3,000 gold. Think about that. Two minutes in and we're up 3,000 gold. Our bot laner is so far ahead of theirs. By like 600 gold or something like that. So we're lane switch because it was convenient for both of us. Also, we already have top turret down. So now our jungler and bot lane can just go and get bot turret actually. So they're, now they're going to get bot turret. And I'm just going to hold top turret over here. And I should be able to hold her for a little bit, just because I already got a kill, so I'm able to buy more items. Also, I could force Flicker off here. I just like this because it's so good, and you can get so far ahead. 3,000 gold ahead in 2 minutes is so much gold. And it's so hard to come back from that, because you're already so far behind. So, pretty much... You always want to lane swap too. Lane swap is very underrated in my opinion. I should be able to kill- I should have been able to kill this kinetic here actually. But I actually lagged really really badly. Like the auto attack wouldn't auto attack. And then I freeze up here. I don't know. If I hadn't lagged there I would have been able to get another kill. And then our lead would have been so much larger. So now we have bought turret too pretty much. What this does is this just opens up the map so much. With their top turret gone and their bot turret also gone, they have to be they have to play so much more careful since they aren't as safe and they can't just run behind turrets. So pretty much we're so far ahead right now. We're about to get their bot turret and we already have top turret. And our laners are so far ahead because of that early invade. Since their bot laner, look at how far behind he is. Only 1.6 thousand gold compared to our sky, who's at 3.4 thousand. Our bot laner has twice as much gold as their bot laner. Because our bot laner actually got their jungle and weapon power side. So that just puts him so far ahead. And then he's so far behind that once we lane switch again, he can't even beat a top laner just because he's so far behind. 
and it just works out so well. So, pretty much from this, you just have to make sure to push your advantage and go for objectives and everything. So pretty much like, I'm gonna rotate to mid here because top lane's already pushed and see if we can get some pressure in mid. So over here, I could just Vanguard Celeste here and we're gonna be able to kill both Magnus and we should be able to kill Lance too, even though I lag there. So that's another thing that top tier does if you get it down. You could push out your minion wave so far out that it allows you to rotate around the map. If they still had top turret, I wouldn't have been able to push out the minion wave that far, and then I would have been stuck in top lane, and I wouldn't have been able to rotate to mid to get those kills. But over here, I'm actually lagging really, really badly. For some reason, this game has been super laggy for me the past few days, but I'm just gonna back up here because the last thing you wanna do is give over a free kill. That'd be horrible. So I just decide it's all right if I lose turret. I'm just gonna back up and I'm just gonna restart my game, change my Wi-Fi or reset it, and then get back. So now I'm back. We lost top turret, of course. If I didn't have that problem, I'm pretty sure I'd still be able to hold top turret and it would still be up. But that's all right at this point because it doesn't even matter. Their bot lane is still so far behind and we have such a large gold lead. It's insane. So over here, I'm just gonna finish pushing out the wave. And they should be taking their own jungle right now. This game was done so late at night. I was pretty much playing half asleep and I wasn't even like trying to CS, CS half of these. I was just dead right now. But with both turrets gone, our bot lane and jungler, they don't have to worry about top lane since we already have turret. So they can rotate around the map and that allows our team to get even further ahead. And at this point, the enemy team knows that they can't even come back just because we'll look at the end screen and see how far ahead we are. Like there's no way that the enemy's coming back. We have an 8,000 gold lead seven minutes in. Think about that. For each minute, we get an extra thousand gold. And look at our bot lane, 5.5 thousand to theirs that was like 3,000 something. So that's the first game. And now we're gonna be looking at the second game. So in this game, even though their level one is probably better to be honest, the element of surprise of invading in this patch is the most important thing ever pretty much. Nobody ever expects an invade, like most of the time people don't expect it. Especially not one with a jungler and a bot lane invading their red buff, like that almost never happens. So in this game, things are gonna go a little bit differently as we can see. So I'm just, I like to set a vision around just to make sure that I don't get counter invaded because the last thing I'd wanna do is get caught out and die. So we're actually gonna go ahead and start up the gold oak and they're going to invade. So this game actually, they actually spot them. So it's gonna be a little bit different and their Yates and Celeste are actually rotating on them. So our mid laner, either the two options that they have is to either go over and help the team or what they can actually do is invade the enemy CP buff and our bot lane and jungler and captain can play a little bit more passive. If our Magnus wanted, he could have just gone to their CP buff and then took that, but instead they kind of, he goes to help out the team and he kind of backs off. So over here, I'm taking red buff now. And I have a choice over here. I can either go and help the team or I can go to my lane. And I decide you wouldn't expect Reza to show up here just because you think Reza should be in bot lane. But I do decide to rotate over since kills are so important this patch and I know I can kill him. So over here, I just go straight onto Samuel. We're able to kill Yates over there. And now we have five people over here compared to their four. Like their Vox wasn't even, their Vox is in bot lane. They don't even really know what's going on pretty much. But we're also able to pick up a kill on Samuel. And now, what we're doing here is, we're both just gonna push this top wave. So we're both just gonna push this, and then we're gonna recall. Right now, pretty much the Ringo can't even get their own CS. He has to back off and play passively, just because we have two of us here again, and their jungler is somewhere, probably dead, to be honest. I think the Samuel was their jungler, but now we can back off. So I'm gonna go to top lane here like normal. And I'm already, I have 
Look at how much the goal difference is. 2,000, over 2,000. And look, I'm ahead of their Ringo, even. I have 300 more gold than their Ringo. And our Kinetic has so much more gold than their Ringo. That's how far ahead we are. So I shouldn't even have too much of an issue in top lane. So over here, I can just push out the wave now. And our bot lane duo can just grab the bot turret. And then we're going to play in a lane switch. Since if we get our bot lane duo to come to top lane after this, our bot laner is already so far ahead of their bot laner that if we switch lanes, we're actually going to be able to beat them just because our bot lane has so much more gold. So you always want to play plan lane switches ahead of time no matter what since that just makes it easier and you could actually set up things like okay let me push out the wave then i can recall so over here right now they're still getting bot turret and they just got bot turret and they're actually gonna rotate around the map and take their jungle first but i'm just gonna grab my own healer and just try and keep top turret up as long as i can so over here i'm just gonna grab this and then head back to lane Actually, I forgot to buy Boots, which is kind of new. That's how late it was. This game was actually after the first game, even. It was so late, <laughs> I was dead. I didn't even buy Boots. But, like, I could sort of bully them and just try and grab as much farm as I can. But over here, I'm just trying to keep Top Turret alive as long as I can while our bot lane and jungler grab their own jungle and right now we're talking like when do we want to do our lane switch right now they want to take their jungle first so i'm actually gonna have to play a little bit more passive here because i'm actually kind of low but they want to take their jungle first so we're like okay after you guys take your jungle we have to do it sometime soon but I kind of start to realize that it's really hard and I probably won't be able to keep this turret just because they have a Samuel too. Like the Samuel just adds so much pressure. So I decide I'm just going to have to probably give up turret here and just recall right away. But look at how far our kinetic is. 4.2 thousand to their 2.8 thousand gold in bot lane. So over here, we all recall right now. Notice how kinetic also recalled at the same time. So now we're going to lane switch. And also, this helps me out too, since I'm against a Vox, and Areza can beat a Vox any day early game. So I have a good lane matchup over here, and our Kinetic is so far ahead of their Ringo that that's a good matchup for him. So pretty much, we have our CP Grace just, I don't know what he's doing, but he's putting in work, I guess. Probably dead, to be honest. But over here, I know I could bully this Vox, so I'm going to try and play aggressive, since if you haven't noticed, Ghostwing is spawning about now, so I want to try and play as, aggress as aggressive as I can, and push in lane as far as I can, and then I could try and rotate around the map. But over here, Grace actually gets caught out, so I'm just pushing out lane, and I know that Vox is going to show back up soon. So I know I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try and bully him, just because he's also really far behind, but I'm with Reza, so I can kill him. So I actually go onto him, and I think I have a kill over here. But instead, I kind of debate myself. At this moment, I realized I didn't have boots. I was like, oh crap, I forgot boots. Since I was just going to ultimate there and then boots onto him. But I was like, oh, I don't have boots. I forgot about him. So I have to back off. And then just try. I go in again, but I'm still not able to get him. So over here, I'm just really low, and we get a kill in mid, so I decide now's the time to recall, and I just recall, grab my spellfire, finally buy boots, which I should have done a while ago, and then I actually head towards Ghostwing, because now the wave's so far pushed in bot lane, our top lane, where our kinetic is, is bullying this Ringo and is able to push in wave, so now we all have our lanes pushed, and we could all rotate over to Ghostwing. And then we can be able to take this pretty much, even though Finn's super low over here. We're going to be able to take this. And we have all five of us here. And our lanes are pushed in too. That's why getting turrets are so important too, so you can push in lanes like this. And then you can rotate around the map to take objectives like this stuff. 
But pretty much now, we could just scale the rest of the game. We're so far ahead. My ultimate- I messed up my ultimate there. But I'm still able to kill him here. But that's gonna be it. Pretty much we scale out the rest of the game, and we demolish them. Look at how much gold our kinetic has. 10.1 thousand gold. That is almost twice as much gold in 11 minutes as their top person that has the most amount of gold, which is their captain somehow. That's how insane this strategy is. And I totally recommend trying it out if you're in a team with someone or if you have good communication with your team. Like, this is kind of, this is just insane looking at. Twice as much gold as the enemy top person. But that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's try and hit a thousand subs with this video. Let's just do it. But that's going to be it. See you guys next time.